so now we will see styling images in CSS so guys we can use the various CSS properties in order to style the images and this we are going to check with the help of examples as well so first of all we will see how we can create the rounded images so guys let us move to the VS code over here and simply we are going to remove the previous lines of code that we had written in the HTML and the CSS files over here now guys what we are going to do is simply we are going to have the diff tag over here with the class name that is container in this case so we have this class name that is container for this diff tag now guys apart from this we will also have the image over here inside this container and this image should have the src attribute and the value that we are going to provide is the directory path of the image which we have already saved over here inside the directory where we have the html file so guys we have the sample forest image dot jpg file in this case and let's say we have the alternate text as test image over here so this img tag will help us in order to display the image on the web browser let me just save this file now and let us move to the style.css file over here and we will provide the width and height for this particular image so guys let's say we provide the width as 300 pixels and the height as 300 pixels as well so that the image is displayed as a square box over here let me just save this file now and try reloading this page on the browser so as you can see this is the image that is getting displayed right now so guys first of all we will see how we can make this image appear as a rounded image so it should be displayed inside the circle so guys what we are going to do is we need to convert the square shape image into a circular shape image so simply we can use the border radius css property so over here we say border radius in this case and the value must be 50 percent always remember that if you want some html element to have a circular shape we can simply provide the border radius css property and the value must be 50 percent over here let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see we have the rounded image that is getting displayed right now apart from this we can also display the thumbnail images with the border so what we will do is simply i am going to comment out this line of code over here and we will have the border of two pixels with the border type that is solid and the border color that is black color in this case apart from this we will also have certain padding so that we can see the border clearly and there is certain spacing in between the image and the border of the image let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see after this image we have the border which is having the width as two pixels and the color is black right now apart from this we can also have the box shadow for this border so what we are going to do is simply we are going to provide the box shadow css property and we can say zero pixels as horizontal shadow and then zero pixels as vertical shadow and simply we can provide the five pixels blur effect and the color must be dark blue over here so guys basically the first parameter is the horizontal shadow followed by the vertical shadow that you can provide and then we have something called as blur effect that will help us in order to spread the color that we provide as the fourth parameter which is dark blue in this case let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser as you can see we have the dark blue box shadow over here apart from this we can also have the multiple shadows as well so after comma we can provide another shadow so let's say in this case we have 20 pixels of blur effect and the color is blue so we are providing the blue color for the box shadow and let me just reload this page as you can see this is the blue color that is spreading out across 20 pixels over here after the border of the image so guys in this way we can provide the cool css properties in order to make our images look more attractive over here apart from this we can also have the responsive images as well so guys let me just increase the width of this particular image to let's say 450 pixels over here so when we provide 450 pixels let me just save this file now the width of this particular image must increase when we reload this page so as you can see this is the 450 pixels width and 300 pixels height right now but guys when we decrease the size of this browser so let us see what will happen so when we are decreasing the width of the browser slowly as you can see the image is getting cropped and certain information from the image cannot be seen without scrolling the horizontal bar right now so guys on smaller devices it is very important that the images scale themselves 
up or down so when the screen size is decreasing the image size must also decrease at the same time so that the entire image is displayed on the 100% width of the screen so guys in order to solve this issue we can use the max width css property over here so let me just expand this browser and simply we are going to use the max width css property in this case for the image tag and it must be set to 100% over here so let me just save this file now so guys what is the meaning of this max width basically we are telling the browser to have the maximum width of this image equal to 100% of the width of the screen so even if your page is displayed on the smaller screen the 100% width of the screen will be taken as the maximum width for the image and there will be no horizontal scroll bar that must be displayed so guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page so now if we decrease the size of the browser so as you can see we are decreasing the size you can see that the image width is also decreasing over here so this is the way that we can create the responsive images with the help of the max width css property in this case now guys apart from this we can also center an image so how do we do that by default the display css property for this image is inline so simply we need to set the display property as block over here so that we can simply use the margin css property and the value must be auto in this case so guys basically for any html element that is having the display equal to block we can use the margin css property as auto in order to get that html element at the center of the screen horizontally so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see now the image is getting displayed at the center of the screen as far as horizontal alignment is concerned guys apart from this we can also make the image as transparent by using the opacity css property so by default we have the opacity as 1 over here simply we can set the opacity as 0.5 which means we are providing 50% transparency for this image let me just reload this page as you can see we have provided the transparency effect over here we can also increase the transparency by providing the opacity equal to 0.3 over here let me just save this file now and try reloading this page as you can see we have increased more transparency effect for this particular image that is getting displayed on the browser now guys apart from this we also can provide the text on the image so what we can do is let's say we want to provide the text that is another diff tag over here inside the container so we will say diff followed by the class name that is text over here and simply we are going to say simple text in this case now guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser as you can see the simple text is getting displayed over here after the image but we want to display it on the image over here somewhere at the top left corner so guys what we can do is first of all let us remove this margin equal to auto and display equal to block property so that the image is getting displayed at the left of the screen over here so as you can see the image is getting displayed right now at the left of the screen and we only want this text to be displayed at the top left direction over here on the image so simply for the container class that is the diff tag which is the parent tag over here for both the image and the other diff tag over here we need to provide the position property as relative so simply we will say container and then for this container we will provide the position property over here as relative in this case so guys basically we have the position property as relative and for the image we will provide the position property as absolute and for the other diff tag that is having the simple text we will also provide the position property as relative so over here we have the class name that is text in this case and then we say position it is equal to absolute over here and not relative so guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser as you can see both the image and the simple text is now getting displayed and the top and the left css property for both these tags right now is zero over here now simply we can provide the top and left css property in order to provide certain spacing for this text so 
what we can do is inside the dot text over here we will provide the top as 5 pixels and also the left as 5 pixels over here you can also provide percentages as well let me just save this file now and try reloading this page as you can see there is certain spacing at the top and at the left as well let us provide the percentages instead of pixels so that we get more spacing over here so when we reload this page as you can see we are getting the simple text at the top left corner of this particular image so guys in this way you can provide the different css properties for the image in order to style them based on your requirements now guys apart from this we also have something called as image filters over here so simply inside the img tag we can simply provide the filter css property and then as you can see there are different methods that you can use and provide the different values as well so let's say we have the brightness function that we are going to use so let us increase the brightness to 150 let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see the brightness is increasing now so guys we have provided the opacity as 0.3 let us provide the opacity as 1 so as you can see this has increased the brightness right now so guys when we provide the brightness equal to 2 over here inside the parenthesis and when we reload this page as you can see the brightness of the image is increasing apart from this there are many other methods that you can use we can also use the blur effect over here so let us check that as well so if we provide two pixels of blur effect as you can see there is blur effect to some extent for this particular image so guys you can use any of the methods that is provided by the filter over here in order to style your images based on your project requirements so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is image hover overlay in css so stay tuned